Hi everyone, so I'm back with um, this makeup look uh, in which I have used, used a lot of new products that I had purchased uh, for over like last month and this month also. There are a couple of purchases from new launches from Chambord, then I have used a product from Westside, uh, My Studio West Strange, and a lot of new products. This look might look uh, too time consuming for you, but then once you see the tutorial you will understand how quick and easy it is to achieve. This can be perfect for um, uh, Karva Chauth or Diwali or any other festival season and it has a mix of gold, burgundy, browns, plums, pinks and uh, I hope you guys really enjoy this video and I have a couple of videos scheduled for you guys. If you have any requests or suggestions or you would like me to review any particular products just leave them in the comments below and I'll make sure to pick those products and review it for you guys and uh, I hope you enjoy this video if you are a new subscribe if you are new to this channel please make sure to hit that subscribe button below and be a subscriber and uh, I'll see you guys very very soon in my next video bye um, I'm going to use a couple of new products in today's uh, video which I'm quite excited about especially the Shambor's new range which is Orosa. I in that range there are four products uh, one is the foundation second is lipsticks third is uh, their eyeshadow sticks and fourth product was I guess eyeliner which I didn't pick these are the three products that I picked I'm going to use this LA girl pro conceal and I am in shade I have bought this like in uh, medium honey which was not the best decision I have ever made because this shade uh, is like matches my skin tone or maybe it's like half a shade half a tone darker than my actual skin tone but this kind of blends really well under the eyes and it stays on for a long time so I don't really mind if you ask me it's quite close to MAC and C uh, and W35 product is really dry I mean this uh, concealer so make sure your um, under eye area is like nicely hydrated so what I'm going to do I'm going to spritz a bit of uh, my color bar stay the day mist on my uh, brush to just blend it the concealer under my eyes it kind of makes blending uh, a lot more easier I mean it blends like you haven't applied there was no product before it blends into your skin seamlessly and uh, it doesn't crease next I'm going to try another product from um, Chambord Orosa collection which is Sculpting Eyeshadow this is like um, an eyeshadow stick and I got in honey gold this is a beautiful beautiful brown bronzy brown with gold flecks I mean the gold flecks are quite visible I'll show you a swatch this is very very creamy very very creamy so close to my la lash line see i really like such kind of products that are like really really easy to use they are not fussy you don't you don't need 10 brushes to apply and blend them so this eyeshadow blends like a dream so you can see it's a really really beautiful shade it will suit Indian skin tone really really nicely and uh, I'll take a little bit of it on my uh, waterline also not waterline lash line this eyeshadow palette from uh, Studio West this is in gold mine this is the palette this palette is beautiful beautiful I'll use only these two shades I'm using my Zoeva Triple uh, Two Lux All Over Shader Brush, and I'm picking that golden shade in the middle. Can you see how beautiful the color is? The color is very, very beautiful and very easy to apply. I never expected this kind of uh, quality from a drugstore brand. I mean, the price is like uh, very much. Uh, similar to the Maybelline quartz, but the quality is way beyond that. I mean, this one. 
and the rest of my eyes I am going to apply this one in the same brush but the other side of it so I am done with applying both the colors so I will quickly grab a blending brush and blend this thing this is a Bharat and Doris eye buffer in 63 this is like a very old brush that I have You can use the transition shade. I'm not going to use any transition shade or anything because I want. I don't want to make this look complicated. Because if you would like to replicate it for karwa chot or anything, then you won't have time or the patience to use 600 eyeshadows, right? Uh, take a little bit of this dark brown shade and place it on the outer corners and then blend it with my blend it on my uh, waterline as well. So. For that I am going to take this Lux Defined Crease Brush from Zoeva. This is number 224. This is a very fluffy brush. So perfect when you don't want too much of color on your eyes. And uh, because this doesn't pick a lot of products. So it's very good for placing small amount of product and blending it. I am using this Bobbi Brown, uh, this Bobbi Brown Kajal in Neuer. keep this look soft I'm going to use the same coal as an eyeliner and I'll smudge it so I'm taking this color bar uh, 122 brush and just quickly smudge it so I'm done with applying and smudging eyeliner on both the eyes then I'll take the same brush and uh, some of this brown eyeshadow and uh, smudge it on my uh, lower la lower lash line so that the look could be more balanced I mean the look could look more balanced this eye look uh, next with my eyebrows and for that I'm going to use this max pipe brow pencil Step is curling my lashes and applying some mascara. For mascara, I'm going to use the big lash mascara from Essence Cosmetics. This is like a nice mascara. So if you have, whether you have short or long lashes, this is going to work. I'm going to use a little bit of bronzer to add some definition to my face. Now I'm going to use uh, a highlighter, which is uh, Makeup Revolution, Makeup Revolution Radiant Light in Glow, which is like one of my favorite highlighters ever. And I'm going to use it before my blush so that it could blend nicely with the blush and doesn't stand out much. to use uh, these Morphe blushes blush palette I'm going to use it on camera for the first time but believe me I've been using this palette every day because it's very good for mixing colors and uh, for every day I mix these two colors I'll apply this dusty one This is such a pretty color, isn't it? So for my lipstick, I'm using the again Chambord Oroza from Chambord Oroza range. This is Lip Perfection lipstick, and guys, this is how the lipstick looks. This is a beautiful rose gold lipstick. It kind of they are kind of mimic the packaging of Mac, but then this is more rounder uh, than the Mac lipsticks, and the packaging feels so sturdy. I mean, uh, this is a nice nice packaging and uh, I've got a 
hypnotic plum. I don't know, there were a lot of shades, but I could only find this one suiting my taste. Lipstick is very, very creamy. So this is the complete look and um, I'm kind of liking the whole look and I really like using a uh, lot of new products in this makeup look. If you really like this, this kind of video, uh, video where I kind of talk about the new purchases and uh, use them uh, in a video, just give this video a thumbs up and I hope you guys enjoy this video and um, please subscribe for more, give this video a big thumbs up. And I'll see you guys very very soon in the next. Bye.